We're expecting a verdict this morning in a trial that's divided a small, close-knit Ohio town. In just a few hours, a juvenile court judge is expected to issue his ruling in the case of two high school football players accused of sexually assaulting a teenage girl. Yesterday, she took the stand to tell her story. ABC's Alex Perez has details from Steubenville. Hi, Alex. Hey, good morning, Dan. After a month of speculation and worldwide attention, the judge will announce his verdict later today. Now, before closing arguments, the 16-year-old girl took the witness stand and faced the two young men she's accusing. For the first time, we hear from the 16-year-old girl accusing Trent Mays and Malik Richmond. On the witness stand, she broke down in tears after seeing an explicit photo of herself taken when she appears to be unconscious. She describes waking up with no clothes hours after the alleged incident with Mays nearby and Richmond on a couch in the same room. I was scared, embarrassed, and it freaked me out. Mays and Richmond are accused of sexually assaulting the teenager after a night of underage drinking and partying in August of 2012. In court, evidence revealed a tense text message conversation between Mays and the accuser in the days after the alleged assault. I wanted to apologize for the video that was put up and all the misunderstanding. The accuser replies in part, I trusted that you would be able to take care of me. I don't know why you keep saying that you did because you obviously Obviously didn't. Later, Mays writes, so you guys aren't making us go to court or anything, right? Or pressing charges? To which she replies in part, so the only reason you're even apologizing is to see if I'm pressing charges? During closing arguments, prosecutors maintained the accuser was too drunk to consent. They took advantage of her when they knew she wouldn't remember. She was the perfect victim. The defense argued pictures of the accuser posted after the alleged incident prompted her charges and maintained Mays and Richmond did not commit rape. Because of immature kids submit a, fit, a picture of her on the internet, she's humiliated. She has a couple choices. Yes, that's me, or I can't remember what happened. And the 16- and 17-year-old defendants could be sentenced to a detention center until they are 21 years old. Again, the judge will announce his verdict later today.